Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Breaking news. Did Donald Trump wanted Mike Pence hanged? Why Trump said the January 6th riot was a hoax? Is the Republican Party engaged in massive voter fraud? Why Donald Trump reached out to his MAGA GOP allies to defend him? How wrecked is the U.S. Senate? Did Peter Navarro got arrested for contempt of Congress? Is the Department of Justice moved its criminal investigation on Trump? Why the Republican National Committee is trying to distance itself from Trump big lie? What did Texas governor do after the school shooting in Uvalde? Is the Republican GOP blaming the Texas shooting on critical race theory? Now for the details, I'm EJ reporting. The two times impeached and disgraced former president, Donald Trump created an acute security threat to his former vice president Mike Pence. According to the New York Times, before January 6, Pence's aide warned Secret Service of security risk to Mike Pence on January 5, 2021, that he would be endangered on January 6. Pence became a target because he filled to go along with his Trump's coup plot. Trump wanted Mike Pence to throw out electors from states that voted for Joe Biden and have them replaced with the so-called fake electors that the Republicans had created so Trump can be declared the winner. On the day of the riot, Donald Trump addressed his MAGA mob supporters and he said this, quote, I hope Mike will do the right thing because if he does the right thing we will win the election, end quote. He told the crowd that he will be very disappointed in Pence if he doesn't overturn the election results. After Trump addressed his mobs, he ordered them to march to the Capitol and fight like hell. When they got there, the rioters were assaulting police officers and chanting, hang Mike Pence. The lead special agent in charge of the vice president's protective detail asked Mr. Pence twice to evacuate the Capitol but he refused to do that. Pence said, I'm not leaving the building so he was guided down a staircase to a secure subterranean area where the rioter couldn't reach where his armored limo was parked. What happened next will blow your mind. When Pence's security service agents one of them who was carrying the nuclear football were chased by these neo-fascists. One of the Secret Service agent asked Mike Pence to get in the limo but Pence replied no, I am not getting in that car. Why Mike Pence refused to get in the car? Well, there are two ways to read that, first, Mr. Pence simply didn't want to show weakness and for U.S. adversaries to see him leaving the building. Second, Trump wanted him out of the picture so it would be easy for his coup plot to work. However, we just uncovered a memo email sent to Rudy Giuliani stating that, once Pence recused himself, Chuck Grassley the second in command or any other senior Republican majority member would become the presiding officer of the joint session can begin the election certification from there and just declared Donald Trump the winner by replacing Biden's electors' votes with the fake electors' votes. Mike Pence aide were extremely suspicious of what lengths Donald Trump would go to get Pence out of the way. Ornato, who oversaw Secret Service movements, told him that they were planning to move Pence's to Joint Base Andrews, who was a Trump's loyalist who planned to fly the vice president to Alaska just so we would be out of the Capitol so the coup will go on without him. The logic was, Trump wanted his secret agents to try to get Mike Pence in the limo but Pence knew exactly what this inside coup directed by Donald Trump against his own vice president and Congress was what Trump wanted so he suggested that Pence should be hanged by his mob supporters so he can remain in office. While Donald Trump and his GOP allies were spreading lies about Democrats committing voter fraud, well it was all a talking point because, it was Trump and his Republican cronies who were committing voter fraud. Right now, the Republican Party is trying to recruit more extreme polls workers from Democratic areas of the country to harass Democratic voters. The plan is to challenge these voters when they come in to cast a ballot. The Republicans have trained them according to the recordings that were leaked from their Zoom meeting, including other face-to-face -face meetings they have been conducting. The GOP is asking these trained polls workers to go in the heavily Democratic areas to ask the Democratic voters question like, are eligible to vote? Have you ever been to jail? The GOP also plan to have a hotline filled with Republican lawyers waiting to answer calls if these voters insist on voting. They will say hey listen, I got a lawyer on the line if you lied to me about your eligibility to vote do you want to speak to him? This is a tactic to scare them off. Their plan will also include friendly district attorneys who would intervene in local election disputes which is another form of harassment. 
they stated in their meeting that, they were trying to build out a nationwide attorney network, your local district attorney, as we always say is more powerful than your congressman. This is a plan to steal the next election. Just so you know, voter harassment is illegal and if you go to the polls and you feel threatened or harassed by Donald Trump's loyalists you must call the police immediately because they are committing a crime called voter fraud. Donald Trump is now freaking out because the Department of Justice criminal investigation is getting closer to Trump. Most of his neo-fascists and extremist MAGA groups, like the Proud Boys and Oak Keepers leaders were charged with sedition conspiracy to overthrow the government and they are now behind bars. As the Select Committee of January 6, preparing its public prime time hearing this Thursday, Trump quickly reached out to his MAGA Republican cronies in Congress to defend him. According to the latest news from CNN, Donald Trump is asking six Republican leaders to go on the counterattack but it won't be easy to do that because live testimonies and videos footage will be shown to the public. Trump wants Kevin McCarthy, Elise Stefanik, Jim Jordan, Jim Banks, Rodney Davis and Matt Schlapp to defend him but these people were all part of the January 6 plot to overturn the 2020 election results. Trump is trying to use the same playbook he used during Robert Mueller's impeachment hearing called the Russia thing a hoax. Well, in a recent interview Donald Trump claimed the January 6 attack on Congress was a hoax, it never happened it was just a peaceful protest. Why would Trump ask for his Republicans lawmaker to defend him? Well, it's simple to covered up his crimes he committed to overturn the election results. Secondly, the GOP has helped him to commit crimes for the past four years and covered it up for him. Sorry Donald, you committed a treasonous crime and you will be held responsible for that. This is Peter Navarro, former Trump's economic advisor. He was recently arrested and charged with two counts of contempt of Congress. This guy was member of Donald Trump's coup plotters. He had the Green Bay sweep plan which was to send Joe Biden's electors' votes back to the state and replace them with the GOP fake electors. Mr. Navarro recently filed a lawsuit claiming he had executive privilege because we was working in the White House so he can't give the select committee all the relevant documents he has about the crimes Donald Trump committed. He can't claim executive privilege when he was part of the crimes committed by his former boss. Donald Trump, Peter Navarro and the rest of Trump's allies committed a conspiracy to defraud the United States and conspiracy to obstruct an official proceedings. 18 United States Code 371 states conspiracy to commit offense or conspiracy to defraud United States government. In another development, many legal experts finally believe that the DOJ is criminally investigating Trump's crimes from the stealing of presidential secret classified documents to the January 6, 2021, riot coup plot. They think that Trumpery is a combination of disdain for ethical restrictions, assault on the rule of law, incessant falsehood and disinformation, the shameless pursuit of personal and political interest, not the public interest, the exploitation and exacerbation of political division and attacks on democracy itself. We know that the Department of Justice will hold him responsible his crimes because, the DOJ has to restore the norm of properly functioning Department of Justice that prosecute criminal like Donald Trump and his cronies. Donald Trump is a charlatan who doesn't care about America or about democracy, but he only cares about money and power, as a result of that, it's tearing apart and destroying this country and he has totally divided us by spreading lies about everything. We now know, two hours after the Uvalde school shooting that killed 19 school children and two teachers, the Texas governor Greg Abbott, attended a house private fundraiser of one of his donors. This is a disgrace because he doesn't seems to care about what happened to the state under his watch. He didn't actually showed any sign of remorse because he was counting dollars while they were counting bodies. The Republican says they care about abortion protecting the unborn child but the question is what about the protecting the children that are alive from a AR-15 style weapon that has been used to kill them. They blocked every bill that would help stop these senseless killings because they want to continue collecting their checks from the NRA. The Republican National Committee, a.k.a. RNC, is now trying to pretend that the January 6 MAGA riot at the Capitol, never happened and they don't want anything to do with it. Well, this is a problem for them because, all the thing the Select Committee of January 6 is doing is to investigate Trump's election, big lies, about election fraud. 
Nevertheless, they can't attack the committee and tried to ignore what Donald Trump did and continued to do to this very day which is to lie about the 2020 election he lost to Joe Biden by 8 million votes. The Capitol riot would had never happened if Trump's and his allies didn't spread lies about election fraud. The RNC don't want the GOP to acknowledge what Donald Trump did because, if they do, they will be validating the very existence of the committee's work. If you like this video please consider subscribing to this channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching.